13-year-old Milo is one of around 300,000 people in the UK living with Tourette's syndrome. <clears throat> Controlling his tics could soon be easier, thanks to a new device created by the University of Nottingham. And that electrical stimulation then acts on the individual's brain in training their brainwaves. Worn like a watch, results of a clinical trial of the device have just found it reduces the number of ticks by 25%. It doesn't just help when you've got it on, it does. But it also helps afterwards for about an hour. So, for example, if I'm in the cinema and I need to tick, or the theatre or something like that where I don't really want to disturb people, I can just put it on and then, I mean, if I put it on for 20 minutes or so, then I'll, that's probably 80 minutes, because it works about an hour afterwards as well for some reason. Milo was among 121 people with Tourette's who tested the device for a month, which showed the severity of ticks was also reduced. The prototype engages the patient's peripheral nervous system by sending a series of electrical pulses from nerves found in the user's wrist. Those signals connect to the part of the brain which is responsible for controlling ticks. Using a process called median nerve stimulation, the pulses interrupt and prevent the ticks from happening. The device already has a touch of celebrity. Louis Capaldi contacted the team, inviting them to a gig so he could test it out. The university said it had had a massive effect on the singer, who has spoken openly about having Tourette's. Its creators say the device could provide an additional treatment to medication. What patients said to us they wanted was a uh, means of controlling their tics on demand when they needed it. So they didn't necessarily want to be cured of their tics. Um, they see it as part of them. But what they wanted was that going through the airport in a job interview at school during an exam, they wanted to be able to have some control over when and where they were ticking. For Milo and thousands of others, this could be another way to improve their quality of life. The team behind it hopes the device will be available through the NHS by 2026. Dan Whitehead, Sky News.